Hey right, folks, it's J.P. Rogers and Nick Lilia here taking a look at the detailed forecast for uh, November 10th through the 17th, brought to by the folks over there at Pine Belt Gutters and Remodeling. And now uh, we've made the switch from the tropical update to the detailed forecast, but since the tropics are a part of the detailed forecast, this is going to feel an awful lot like one of these uh, tropical updates that we do all summer long. Of course, the tropical uh, hurricane season uh, doesn't end for quite a while. We're still tracking Ada down here, a tropical storm Ada, wind at 60, gusting to 70, now moving off to the north at about 7 miles an hour. 90 miles off of the uh, northern or to the north of the western tip of Cuba. Uh, this will continue to move to the north as we head through the next few days and should slide off to the east of South Mississippi. Now, uh, the good news for today, uh, not only I'm going to go back here, uh, they had the uh, hurricane hunters, you know, flying into and through the storm out of Keesler and everything. Then what they did is they actually had another one that was flying all the way around the outside. Now, that data came in. And because that data came in, got into the models, and the models shifted everything, uh, the forecast shifted with it, and it shifted away from South Mississippi. So uh, barely in the cone across some of our eastern counties, but the thought is now that there's a pretty good chance that this thing slides off to the east of South Mississippi. Uh, we're not completely out of the woods, I suppose, with a 70% chance of development down into the Caribbean for this next wave that's out here. Uh, I will say that this one does look like it should not be a concern for us, but you know we'll keep tabs on things you never know sometimes with these tropical systems but uh, we'll walk things through with our uh, gfs 700 millibar moisture 850 vorticity map you can see uh, ada in here getting pulled off to the east of south mississippi there's your next wave in here here's theta out here didn't talk about theta but uh, not really a concern for us and since we've changed to the detailed forecast uh, and not the overall tropical forecast we're going to kind of give that one a miss you can see ada gets eaten up pretty good by dry air shear and pulled apart uh, your next wave is down here, and this is what we're keeping tabs on through the next few days. But notice, for the most part, it just kind of glides right into Central America as either a tropical storm or maybe even uh, a, a weak hurricane. We'll have to kind of see how that shakes out. Then we have another little area that may be worth watching out here, uh, off to the south of uh, Bermuda and off to the east of the Bahamas. But outside of that, the weather in South Mississippi, we got a couple of different ridges of high pressure moving through. We've got one cold front. That's the thing that also picks up Ada as we head through this weekend. It's going to move through. But for the most part, uh, weather's going to be pretty benign as we head through the next seven days, which is some good news after a long and very busy hurricane season. So there's a look at your detailed forecast brought to you by the folks uh, at uh, Pine Belt Gutters and Remodeling.